Hello, Heaven. I want to play a game. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most brutal deaths in the Saw movies. What is that? What did you do? For this list, we'll be looking at the most downright savage ends characters have faced in this long-running horror franchise. Keep in mind, we'll be covering spoilers for the first nine movies. Are there any we missed? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. Abby Tate Saw 2 Burning may not be as grandiose a demise as the others on this list, but we shudder to think of anything more painful. You're the last person I saw before I woke up here. You did this. Are you sure it's him? You better be sure. I'm sure. In the second movie, Abby is actually revealed to have assisted Jigsaw in kidnapping the other victims. But he didn't plan on being put into the game himself. And when his secret is revealed, he proves none too popular. Right now, you're going in there. I'll kill you where you stand. As penance, Xavier forces Abby to enter the furnace trap to retrieve a couple antidotes to the nerve agent spreading throughout the house. Abby complies, but accidentally triggers the mechanism. Trapped inside with the furnace blazing full force, Abby can do nothing but stick his head out the window and shriek in pain as the rest of him is burned alive. Number 19. Dina Saw 3D you gotta figure that in a horror series called Saw, some people are going to die by the titular tool. The first trap of this installment emphasizes this in all the grisly glory of 3D. The same woman has played each of you for a fool, manipulating your love for her and causing nothing but pain. Her fun and games pushed you both to break the law to fulfill her material needs. She is toxic. On display in a public square, Tina finds herself suspended above her two lovers, Brad and Ryan. The boys are pitted against each other, whereby one of them has to push a saw blade into the other before the timer expires. Otherwise, the same will happen to Dina. Dina, virtually helpless, goads them each into sacrificing the other, making them realize they're both being played. After they both stop struggling, Dina can do nothing but watch as the saw makes a mess out of her midsection. I think we're breaking up with you, Dina! Number 18, Paul Leahy, Saw. The first traditional trap we see in the series, this one is virtually inescapable. It sees Paul placed in a basement with his escape door wide open. However, in his way is a maze of razor wiring. While most victims have only a minute to complete their tasks, Paul has a whopping two hours. But it's easier said than done as navigating the maze becomes more gruelingly tricky the longer it goes on. Find the path through the razor wire to the door. But hurry, at 3 o'clock that door will lock, and then this room becomes your tomb. Lacerations made to Paul's body cause him to lose more blood the deeper he goes. He finally passes out and eventually passes away. While we're not sure Paul deserved to be tested, the result certainly speaks for itself. Number 17. Lynn Denlin Saw 3 While Lynn doesn't go through any physical labors herself, her test is taxing all the same. She's tasked with keeping a cancer-ridden John Kramer alive while her husband Jeff completes a series of trials. If John lives to see Jeff finish, she'll be relieved of the shotgun collar around her neck. If John flatlines, the device will go off. You're a vital piece of my puzzle, Dr. Denlin. A critical part of what could be my final test. Amanda, it's time to start our game. Despite having to perform drastic brain surgery and enduring endless verbal abuse from Amanda, Lynn is surprisingly successful. But when Amanda shoots her, Jeff is compelled to retaliate. He kills Amanda in turn, then takes a circular saw to John himself, unaware of the shotgun collar. I forget. John dies, and so too does Lynn. 
Number 16. Evan, Kara, Dan, and Jake. Saw 3D. There are a lot of despicable people in the Saw franchise, but a band of racists is something else. So it should be a surprise to no one that they all suffer brutal fates. Your pathetic friends follow your every word, Evan. Therefore, you will be the only one capable of saving them and yourself. Awakening in a garage, Evan finds his bag glued to a car's upholstery. Also restrained are Evan's friends, who will similarly die if he doesn't peel himself away and pull a lever just out of arm's reach. You've judged others by the color of their skin, and today, Evan, you will learn that we are all the same color on the inside. As much as he strains, Evan is unable to complete the task in the allotted time, prompting the tire to drop on Kara's face. The car then zooms off, taking pieces of Dan with it and running over Jake in the process. The subsequent crash sends Evan through the windshield, leaving no survivors. Number 15. Seth Baxter Saw 5 Unfortunately for Seth, his game is unwinnable. But he doesn't know that and ultimately causes himself more grief than was necessary. To avoid the pendulum, all you have to do is destroy the things that have killed your hands. You must insert your hands and push the buttons to start the devices before you. After Seth kills Mark Hoffman's sister and eventually walks due to a technicality, Hoffman looks to take revenge. He constructs an elaborate jigsaw trap to avoid suspicion and plops Seth smack dab in the middle of it. Seth is then prompted to crush his own hands, else swinging pendulum lowers down and hacks away at his abdomen. Seth complies but finds the pendulum running through his body anyway. The walls are redecorated with Seth's insides, all while Hoffman gets to watch the life drain out of him. Number 14. Suzanne Saw 3D Thanks to the 3D on display, we knew to expect a lot of in-your-face bloodletting. But it doesn't get more in-your-face than this. Once her device begins to rotate, it will pierce her eyes and mouth if you don't delay its movement for at least 30 seconds. Bobby's lawyer, who's complicit in him falsifying being a jigsaw survivor, Suzanne finds herself in a trap for real. Only it's not her game to play. To save her from having sharp rods sent through her eyes and mouth, Bobby must lift a heavy weight. While he does so, a mechanism pierces his obliques, making it extremely difficult for him to endure. Of course, he fails with just seconds left, and Suzanne is lifted all the way through the rods. It's a seriously bloody demise. Number 13. Eddie Saw 6 Much like Seth Baxter, Eddie ends up injuring himself severely to no avail. The devices on your heads are symbolic of the shackles that you place upon others. You recklessly loan people money, knowing their financial limitations, counting on repossessing more than they could ever pay back. A pair of money lenders, Eddie and Simone are pitted against each other for preying on desperate people and effectively plunging them into debt. They each have to sacrifice parts of their bodies, with whomever offering more poundage being spared. I'm not dying for you, bitch! Eddie quickly takes to slicing off parts of his torso, establishing an early lead. Falling behind, Simone hastily removes her own arm, putting her ahead at the buzzer. The loser, Eddie, has drills dig into his temples, proving his survival instinct wasn't as strong as Simone's. Number 12. Joyce Dagan Saw 3D If there's one person who least deserved to be put in a trap, it's Joyce Dagan. The oblivious wife to the lying Bobby, Joyce is forced to watch as he fails to save his conspirators. Last but not least, he has to complete the test he pretended to have endured to save the woman he loves most. Woman before you symbolizes your success. She is your trophy, and she has seen the good in your message despite its dishonest beginnings. What's he talking about? He has to insert hooks into his pectoral muscles, then hoist himself up to connect two extension cables. Despite Bobby giving it the old college try, his muscles ultimately buckle under his own weight. The timer runs out, and a brazen bull forms around Joyce. She's subsequently cooked alive, while Bobby's punishment is merely having to listen to her cries of agony. Number 11. 
Allison Carey Saw 3 Detective Allison Carey is another person who doesn't deserve to be tested by Jigsaw. Even worse, her game is also designed to be unwinnable, making her a truly tragic character. Hello, Carey. I want to play a game. After being kidnapped, Carey is placed in a device that's attached to her ribcage. The alleged key to her freedom is right in front of her, but unfortunately, it's at the bottom of a jar of acid. All you have to do is reach in and take it. But do it quickly. The acid will dissolve the key in a matter of seconds. Showing her resolve, Carrie endures the pain to retrieve the key, but it doesn't free her as advertised. Instead, Carrie is forced to accept her fate as the villainous Amanda arrives to admire her work. Number 10. Michael Marks Saw 2 The Saw franchise knows how to start strong, giving audiences a nasty taste of gore before the plot reveals itself. Saw 2 as one of the best openers in the series. Poor Michael awakens like many others in a dark room. Jigsaw's video tells him he must retrieve a key from behind his own eye. If he doesn't do it quickly enough, the Venus flytrap-like device around his neck will activate. How much blood will you shed to stay alive, Michael? Live or die? Make your choice. Having to cut into your own eye has to be one of the most difficult, painful instructions to follow. Unfortunately for Michael, he doesn't make it. As he screams for help, the two halves of the spiked mask close, silencing him for good. Number 9. Nina Saw 3D this one makes our throats ache just thinking about it. Bobby, Bobby, help me. Get me out of here. Much like his lawyer, Bobby Dagan's publicist Nina is put in a trap of her own for helping him perpetuate his lies. She has been richly rewarded for her words, but today she will be rewarded for her silence. Nina is strapped to a chair, and the key that can free her is tied to a string leading down her throat, along with a fish hook. Bobby has 60 seconds to yank the key out, but the more Nina screams, the closer four metal spikes move towards her throat. Needless to say, the hook makes Nina scream quite a bit, and she doesn't make it. You just needed to shut up! Number 8. Brad Halloran Jigsaw Hello, gentlemen. You came looking for the game. Congratulations. You found it. You are the final two players. With a seven-year break after Saw 3D, the series came back strong, at least in the gory kills department with Jigsaw. One of its most brutal took place at the very end. Innocent people died because of me! I did it! Detective Brad Halloran, having frequently released criminals for his own gain, found himself chasing the ghost of John Kramer ten years after his death. By the end, he was at the mercy of Jigsaw's secret apprentice, Logan Nelson. You have a choice. Scream or don't. Coupled with Logan's plot twist was a trap more technologically advanced than most others in the series. A collar with several lasers pointing upwards. With a push of a button, the lasers lowered and sliced through his head, turning it into one seriously disturbing flower of gore and viscera. I speak for the dead. Number 7. Angie Garza Spiral Angie, get to the bullpen! He's coming for you! This Saw spin-off follows a jigsaw copycat killer and the police force attempting to stop them. Leading the force is Captain Angie Garza. Although being on this list, her position clearly doesn't keep her safe. Hello, Captain Garza. I want to play a game. You have covered up corruption in your department, never sticking your neck out for the innocent. Now, the cover-up will be on you. Garza is kidnapped at one point and made to play the copycat's game. Accusing her of covering up police corruption, the copycat straps her to a table with the blade directly below her neck. Angie must cut through her spinal cord to stop hot wax from covering her face. Despite her best painful efforts, Angie is unsuccessful. It's a savage demise to be sure, made worse by the fact that Detective Zeke Banks was mere moments too late to rescue her. Number 6. Mitch Jigsaw Most victims of Jigsaw have wronged other people. 
But Mitch was a special case in that his actions led to the death of someone Jigsaw cared for. I, I saw a kid a bike once. He had an accident 10 minutes after I sold it to him. It's not my fault he couldn't handle such a powerful damn bike, all right? He died! Upon waking in a trap-filled barn, Mitch confesses to having sold a motorcycle to a guy who then got into a fatal accident. What you don't find out until later is that this was Jigsaw's nephew and that Mitch knew it had faulty brakes. For his punishment, Mitch is lowered upside down into a funnel surrounded by burning hot coils, which are spun via the same motorcycle. Pull the brake! Pull the brake! Despite Anna's best efforts to rescue him and Mitch being close to the brake handle that would save him, Mitch is mutilated and turned into a mushy mess. Number 5. Eric Matthews, Saw 4. You jump off that block, you electrocute him. If that ice had melted more, he'd be fried. You understand? It seemed by the end of Saw 2, corrupt detective Eric Matthews was left for dead by Jigsaw. But that wasn't the case. In actuality, he nearly escaped by breaking his own foot and was kept alive to be used as a piece in another twisted game. Better hope he doesn't come through that door. Oh, who's coming through the door? In Saw 4, Officer Daniel Rigg followed tests in order to rescue Matthews. While Rigg did find him, it was the very act of opening a door to him that sealed his fate. It caused two massive blocks of ice to come slamming down. At least this gnarly display isn't drawn out. His confinement and the fact that he nearly survived Jigsaw twice make it especially hurtful. Instead of saving Detective Matthews, you cost him his life. You failed your final death. Number 4. Peter Strom, Saw 5. Hello, Agent Strom. If you are hearing this, then you have once again found what you are looking for. Or so you think. For FBI agent Peter Strom, it's both the nature of his death and how easily it could have been avoided that make it brutal. On the trail of Detective Mark Hoffman, another of Jigsaw's apprentices, Strom follows him to a derelict house and finds a tape player. It instructs him to climb inside a glass box. Thinking he's making the smart decision, Strom attacks Hoffman before finishing the tape and places him inside instead. If he had finished listening first, he would have found out that entering the box was the only way to avoid the trap. The walls then began closing in with no way to stop them, crushing Strom while Hoffman watched from safety. The bone-crunching sound effects are absolutely disgusting. Number 3. Jill Tuck – Saw 3D Ever since being teased in the original Saw, fans were dying to see what the reverse bear trap could do. And they finally got to see the results in all their gory glory in Saw 3D. I'll be looking for you. Part of this seventh entry chronicles Jigsaw's ex-wife Jill Tuck, working to get Detective Hoffman arrested for his crimes. Unfortunately for Jill, Hoffman gets to her before this can happen. As was the case with many victims before her, Jill awoke strapped to a chair with her life about to end. The trap opened her jaw in gruesome fashion, making nauseating use of this entry's 3D. Hoffman would finally get what was coming to him shortly after, but he went out with a bang. Game over. Number 2. Timothy Young, Saw 3. Hello, Jeff. If you are listening to this, that means that the confrontation you so long dreamed of is finally unfolding. The main focus of Saw 3 is Jeff Denlin, a man whose son was killed by a drunk driver. He makes his way through trap rooms, either choosing to save or condemn those who played a part in his son's death. Naturally, the most grisly death is saved for the driver. The human body is a miraculous creation. Ever wonder how far the arm can twist? This device is going to start twisting. There is a chance he might live, though, with your help. Jeff comes across Timothy Young in a rack of sorts, 
with all four appendages in his neck trapped in twisting mechanisms. As the clock winds down, each mechanism twists and breaks whatever it's attached to. <laughs> Despite Jeff deciding to forgive Timothy, he can't save him. The slow, one-by-one -one nature of the trap is agonizing, with the actor's screams really selling it and the sound design being more gag-inducing than even Strom's death. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. William Easton, Saw 6 Live or die, the choice is yours. The sixth installment didn't do as well at the box office as most other entries, but that doesn't mean it was without nasty details. Most of the movie follows William Easton, an executive of a health insurance company known for denying those in need, including John Kramer. The type of cancer you have is malignant and inoperable. It rolled off your tongue real smooth. Even if the treatment works, the cancer will return eventually. It's an unwinnable battle. That was even smoother. As a matter of fact, that was downright slick. Working his way through a trap-laden building, William tries to save his fellow victims and underlings. He makes it through the entire ordeal only to have his life placed in the hands of family members of someone he denied medical coverage. Oh. Now you burn in hell. A vengeful son flips a switch, bringing a bed of hydrofluoric acid-filled needles down on William and melting him from the inside out. It's revolting and savagely violent. All the good things Saw is made of. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.